Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Fenty Sun Stalker Bronzer. Now, I picked up the lighter shade called In The Sun and if you're as fair as me, you probably don't go In The Sun very often. <laughs> that was lame. Anyway, stay tuned if you want to hear my thoughts. I'll pop in some swatch comparisons and also an application demo. Alright, let's start with the facts. There are eight shades available in the range, and as I said, I picked up the lighter shade called Inda Sun. Now, this one is described as a fair shade with a neutral undertone. The next shade up is called Shady Biz, and this is a light shade with a warm undertone. It comes with 6.23 grams, which is very specific, or 0.22 ounces. It retails for 30 US dollars from the Fenty website and 46 Australian dollars from the Sephora website. It is described to be long wear and transfer resistant. It says it's smooth, creamy, easy to blend, and it is described to have a soft matte finish that lets skin look like skin. Okay, so here is what the packaging looks like. It has this nice gold mirrored effect. It's really pretty to look at, but it does get very dirty. Fingerprints all over it. And then here is the shade. As you can see, it is very neutral. I think it's absolutely spot on and it's going to work really well if you've got super fair skin. For a matte bronzer, it does feel really nice to touch. It's not too chalky. It picks up really well on the brush, which I think is great. It's not too overwhelming. I would prefer to go in and build up my bronzer rather than have one that is just too pigmented because then it's too hard to blend out. My favorite bronzing brush is the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish. Now it is dirty. I have been using it, but only with my Fenty bronzer because I've been testing it out all week. So I'm just going to start with a little bit. I'm just going in circular motions. I find that this is one of those bronzers that looks really natural. It's really buildable, which I love, and I find it's hard to go overboard. And then I just like to take a little bit around my hairline just to warm up my complexion. So I love how this applied. It actually reminds me a lot of Benefit Hula Light. If you have very fair skin or are new to bronzing, I think this would be a really great option for you because of how lightly it applies and the neutral undertone. As I said, it's really hard to go overboard and it just leaves that really nice soft matte natural finish. If you're into glam makeup all the time or prefer a bit of a deeper bronzer, then this one probably won't be for you. It's more if you're after that natural bronze look, then this is right up your alley. Okay, so onto the swatches so you can compare the shades. First up is the Fenty in the shade In The Sun. Here is the Hula Light by Benefit. This one here is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Here we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. This one here is the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. Here we have the Maybelline City Color in Light Cool. This one is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Barley Sands. And lastly, Nars Laguna. All right, well, that is all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you've tried this bronzer, let me know your thoughts below. And if you're thinking about getting it, let me know if you have any other questions. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have that linked down below. Otherwise, that is everything. I hope you all have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.